Hello and welcome back to TCG Dreamland. We're returning to Commander Masters. If you recall, if you saw my earlier video when the set first released, I opened a set box. And the reason I opened a set box was because I was talking with the guy at my LGS that I was buying the boxes from. I was there for, you know, collector because that's what people really like watching and opening and that's where the really high high risk high value high risk high reward cards are and uh the guy was like you know the set boxes are where the real value is at because you get like multiple rares in a pack and there's 24 packs and i was like hmm i'll see about that so i opened a box on the channel and it had like 374 dollars worth of cards worth more than a dollar. I only include cards worth a dollar or more when I do the total for the value at the end of the video. And it was like $374 is a lot more than I paid for the box. And considering that these are going on TCG Player for about $270, I just thought, well, heck, let's see if you can get your money's worth, even though some of the singles, a lot of the singles have fallen in price, but have they dropped, you know, a collective hundred dollars per box? Let's find out because these boxes, 270, last time I opened a box, $374 worth of cards in the box. So that is a list card. Interesting. Okay, so these are backwards packs. I think these are backwards packs. Okay. Japanese printed. It was weird. I, I opened a box before and I, I said that they were Japanese. I think it was for the uh, Wilds of Eldraine. Um, and I was like, oh, these are Japanese packs. And someone in the comments got all uppity and was like, if they were Japanese packs, they'd be in Japan, in Japanese. And I was like, um, no, I mean that they're printed in Japan. It's like, simmer down, fella. All right, so, don't think that one's good. So, anyways, Avacyn, very nice, first pack mythic. All right, so now it should just be commons and uncommons because the packs printed in Japan have a backwards order. All right, so... Art card in the back, and then we'll flip it over. I like looking at the art cards. All right, so our foil is Twisted Abomination. We've got Undergrowth Stadium, not bad. The uh, Commander Legends land cycle they decided to reprint in this set now it should just be uncommons so that wasn't a bad pack commander's sphere some of the borderless commons and uncommons may be worth a dollar or so yeah undergrowth stadium not bad so there's going to be i tell you what the last set booster box i opened because the guy was right. There's just so many cards and so many rares and cards that are worth, you know, more than a dollar. These videos just take a long time to edit because it's like every pack has like a handful of cards I have to look up and write the price for on the screen. It just takes a while. Mystic Confluence. Ashling the Pilgrim. That's cool looking artwork. That almost looks like some kind of creature out of Legend of Zelda. Pretty cool. All right, Rishkar, Tabarax, Reality Shift, Sky Shroud Claim, Abundant Harvest, A Braid, All That Glitters, Not Years, Night Blade. All right, next pack. smacked y'all in the face. That is... Is that the right side up? Yeah. Alright. Treasure. Firemind Vessel. Cool. That's our foil there. Bloodsforth, 
Blood Spore Thrinax, and Fairy Artisans, and Experimental Crush. Three rares for that pack. In your rune eyes. Just go a little quickly. Soul Ring. The thriving stuff is great. Path to Exile. Not sure if that's still more than a dollar. It was at one point. The lands I probably won't be including, even if they're more than a dollar. Just because I don't feel like going through extra work. All right, there's a signed art card. The signed ones I actually do keep. Because you never know, maybe one day they'll be worth something. Gast Lord of Fugue for the list. Myriad Landscape Foil. Grand Abolisher. Rare. Flawless Maneuver. Azami, Lady of Scrolls. That's another triple rare pack. Hoarding Dragon. Ancestral Blade, Myriad Landscape. All right, Ravaging Blaze for the foil. Savage Beating. That's an interesting looking character. Brings us to two mythics. A little low on mythics so far, almost a third of the way through the box. Song of the Dryads, Marin of Clan Maltoth, Path to Exile. So we had Return to Dust, uh, Mythic, and two rares in that pack. Exclude all the glitters. Nothing amazing yet. Looking for a Jeweled Lotus. That would be cool. All right, Foil Legion Vanguard. And we've got Decree of Pain. Arachnogenesis. Sakiko. A lot of triple rare packs. Ulamog's Crusher, Path of Ancestry, Elvish Mystic, Foil Mountain. Let me see if that helps a little bit. Sorry, I made one of the lights a little bit more square on. Very nice looking artwork there. Servo. We've got Ariel. Ariel for the foil. Evacuation followed by Hannah. Ship's Navigator. That was just a double rare pack. All right, Exsanguinate. That was over a dollar at one point. Thorn of the Black Rose. Arcane Signet. Nice. Borderless Arcane Signet. All right, second stack. Pack number nine. Still with two list cards and only two mythics. We've got Boom Pile, Wrath of God, Doretti. Arcane Signet, nice. And I don't really see anything else good in that pack. Where's all the uh, all the jewels? Those are some of the things that made our last box really good. We had like, I wanna say like three, like a jet and an opal. And a sapphire, maybe a ruby. There's a list card, Primal Cocoon from Core 2011. This one's pretty old. All right, Cadaver Imp, foil. Ooh, Land Tax, that's a nice card. Nice mythic for us. Ooh, and a Deflecting Swat. That's another thing, our last box had like 
two deflecting swats, I think. Deflecting swat, very nice. I'm actually going to put that one up here. Because it's not a mythic, but it is one of the best cards in the set. Disrupt Decorum. Mangara. Wow, so that pack had, what, a majest or a mythic and three rares. One of them being really good, like the best rare. Kodama's Reach. That was a good pack. Land tax and deflecting slot. Ooh, another signed art card. Lucas. Cool. Put that one off to the side. Keep that one. All right, all that glitters. Foil. Sapphire medallion. There we go. The medallions. I'm not sure if this particular one is still over 10 bucks, but a bunch of the medallions were over $10 shortly after release. Lorthos, the Tide Maker. Squee. Thran Dynamo. Felwer Stone. All right, Spite Bellows, Soul Ring. Really cool looking borderless Soul Ring. There's about 30 different Soul Rings. <laughs> But uh, I will say that that one's probably one of the best looking ones. Obviously, the uh, Lord of the Rings ones that are like the special ones, those are all cool looking. But aside from those, I'd say that Borderless Soul Ring is probably one of the best looking, at least. Broken Wings, Foil, Scythe Claw, Jazal Gold Mane, Treasure Nabber. Haru. Alright, Hamza. Elephant Warrior. Why was it not a pig or like some kind of boar? I mean, there's like boars, right? Thought Vessel. Rapacious Dragon. Faithless Looting. Alright, not bad. About halfway through the box. Actually, we are halfway through the box. Now we're breaking into the second half of the box. Commander Sphere in foil. Obscuring Haze. Avatar of Slaughter. It's like a Mad Max thing. All right, Psy. Brian Lynn. All right. Makeshift Munitions. Belvoir Stone, Borderless. <clears throat> All right, still need some good stuff. Definitely not at 260 yet. Lightning Greaves. Bribery, Mythic. All right, Sequoir. Danitha, Ariel, Reliquary Tower, Dread Return. Moving right along. Ooh, nice! The Great Henge in foil. Very nice. You know, I never got my hands on one of these extended art ones. What set was this from originally? I don't remember. Zendikar? I don't remember. Let me know what set this was from. The extended foil version of this was really expensive at one point. Ooh, and a jet medallion. Very nice. Brings us to two medallions. And some really good... Cards. Savage Beating, I don't know, so I'm going to actually put the Great Henge up there, because I know the Great Henge is good. Deflecting Swat is also really good, but that's just a rare. Pure Steel Paladin, not bad. Krenko, used to be better. What else do we got? Command Tower, not bad.
interesting. Not sure what card that is. Alright, we've got Leaf Crowned Elder from the list. Tabarax for the foil. Inferno Titan. That's cool. That looks like something out of God of War. Right, Sadissi. Kozilek. Borderless. Interesting. From a set box. Cool. I'll take it. It's not that good, but it's cool. All right. Padim. And anything else cool? Kodama's Reach. Thran Dynamo. Borderless. Whoops. All right. Oh, another signed art card. That makes three for this box. Not bad. Spectral Search Light foil. There we go. Jeweled Lotus. Non foil Jeweled Lotus, but I'll still take it. That's over $60, I want to say. Probably best hit in the box. Very nice. That's going to do quite a bit for our box total. All right, very nice. Now I'm feeling a little better. Torrential Gear Hulk. Ghoul Collar Gisa. Champion's Helm. Borderless, not bad. Vault of Champions, Borderless, not bad at all. All right, Annex. Animal Magnuses. And that was a good pack, actually. That This is this pack that had the Jeweled Lotus, right? We're still on the same pack. Path of Ancestry. So we got a Vault of Champions along with our Jeweled Lotus. That was pretty cool. It's like a $70 plus pack. All right, Soldier. Elvish Mystic. Training Center, not bad. That's like our third card for that land cycle, right? It's like our third of that land cycle. Rune Scarred, Yannette, Tetsuo, anything else interesting? That one's cool looking at least. Prismatic Lens, Prophetic Prism. All right, how many, like six packs left? That's the one good thing about set boxes, at least, even if you don't get your money's worth, is there's a lot of packs, a lot of fun to be had opening packs. If you just want to open lots of packs and have fun opening packs, then that's what set boxes are good for. Murmuring Mystic, we've got Commandeer. Cool. And Perforos. Oh, that's a Mythic. Cool. I don't think I've ever pulled that card before. Pretty cool. Chainer. Dementia Master. All right, Anafenza. Factor Fiction. That card's cool. I just like the artwork on that. Give that person the Banff of the Year Award. Tatiova. Borderless. And the Banff of the Year Award goes to... Whoever that is. All right, there's a list card. Whoa, that's an older set. Well, I guess based on the border, it's kind of a middle older set. It's not like really old. All right, Azari's Predation. Rafik of the Many. Just a double rare pack. That was unfortunate. All right, got some loyal creatures, a tragic slip. Interesting. Foundry Inspector, Storm Kiln Artist. Well, there's the helm. There's the art card of it. All right, Ooh, City's Blessing token. All right, Subira, it's the foil. We've got Sword of the Animist. Champion's Helm, Nahiri, the Lithomancer, 
What else? Firemine vessel is cool looking. All the glitters. All right. Coming down, last three packs. See if we can get another good hit. Or maybe some more medallions or something just to give us a little more value. Blood Sheaf Ascension. Borderless Foil. Pearl Medallion, there we go. I'll take it. I'll take any medallion. They're all good. All right, Angelic Field Marshal. Tesa Karlov. Tatiova. Lightning Greaves, there you go. All right, Commander Sphere. Command Tower. Path of Ancestors. Wow, that's, that's a bunch of staples in this pack. Holy cow. It's a good pack if you're looking for playable cards. Reforge the Soul, another list card. Not sure if any of those list cards are good off the top of my head because most of them are from sets before I actually started collecting and opening Magic the Gathering. Tooth and Nail, Rankle, Yarl. What else do we got? Counterspell. Oh, interesting. Shire. And another counter spell. Last pack. Can we get some last pack magic? Can we get a last pack something good? All right. Oh, that's a cool sliver. What one is that? Mana weft. Interesting. All right, last pack. Let's see what we got. Dark, dark Steel Mutation. And Inspiring Statuary. Followed by the Scarab God. I think that's the first time I've pulled that. So we got a new pull in our last pack. Low Shield. Ashnod's Altar. Burnished Heart. Gargadon. Faithless Looting. There's some good staples in this pack as well. Dark Steel Mutation. All right, so that was our last pack. Let's take a look at the list real quick. So we got a total of six list cards. All right. One rare, two rares, three rares. Three of them rares. Three of the six were rares for the list. What else did we get that was good? I know... Definitely the Jeweled Lotus. We've also got some other good ones in here. I think Jeweled Lotus, Great Henge, Deflecting Swat is just a rare, but that's, I think, might be the best rare in the set. Very good there. Let's square it up a little better. Very nice there. We also got, I think, three cards. Three of the Land Cycle from Commander Legends. And three medallions. So, box total up on your screen. That was, I'd say, not a bad box. I don't think it was an amazing box. I don't think it was as good as our last box. But, you know, three medallions. We did get a Jeweled Lotus and some other good cards. So, I guess we'll find out. Well, I'll find out. You'll know already if it was worth at least 260 So, make sure to subscribe. And uh, actually, my channel just recently got the ability to get um, the little, like, donations. They're like super, super thanks, I think they're called. Yeah, I, like, just got that ability, of, like, a couple weeks ago because I'm over 500 subscribers finally. So any, any donations will go directly toward getting boxes to be opened on the channel. So if you feel so inclined, you can send me a super thanks. And I will put that directly toward boxes for opening on the channel. So, thank you very much. If you don't want to do that, just subscribe. Because that also helps a lot. If I can get to 1,000 subscribers, then we're going to see a lot more box openings on the channel. So, at least subscribe. And uh, make sure to tell your friends. You know, word of mouth goes a long way. 
So uh, yeah, thank you very much for watching and I'll see you guys in the next video.